Good evening, Internet. This is the old fat dad, and welcome back to another beautiful night today in Goober Nation, not on the gun range, but out on the soccer fields, because we're going to be testing out two budget types of night vision. In one hand, I've got the Apexel standard, I guess you would say, digital night vision. And in the other hand, I've got uh, Covert Optics, actually, I think it's called Armasites, little budget thermal. We're going to go out here on the field. I'll put my camera lady out there at 50 yards and 100 yards and just see how these two measure up with detection and being able to spot her. And maybe we'll run some other tests as well. All right, here is the Apexel standard night vision. We've got the camera lady sitting at 50 yards. And there's a little pooch as well. There we go. And that looks, I mean, that looks pretty decent. Um, let's see if we can uh, run her out to 100 yards. Will you go out to 100 yards, please? There she goes, there she goes. And this does have multiple levels of zoom. The limitations with this uh, digital night vision is going to be that it relies on an illuminator to be able to see at night. And as you can see, we are zoomed in all the way. I'm going to back out just a little bit. She's getting there at 100 yards, and I am rapidly losing her. She's wearing dark clothing. The dog is bright white, so we can still see the dog hopping around. But now I have completely lost my camera lady. There's our little dog with his creepy, bright little eyes and no camera lady. All right, come on back in. Let's switch over. Okay, now we're using the covert optics, and camera lady is at 50 again. Can you wave your hands? And she's showing up real bright and clear. White is hot on this. You can see the dog next to it. Uh, the refresh rate on this is obviously much worse than the um, digital night vision. And the screen is also way lower resolution. But she's bright and clear and showing up on the screen there. Would you go ahead and go out to 100? Okay, she's walking out to 100. Let me know when you get there. You can also see the dog, no problem. Really clear and distinct against the cold background there. Okay, you at 100? Okay, there she is at 100, and again, I can really make her out there against the background. She is showing up real bright and light against that background. Now, I wouldn't be able to identify her as a person or a deer or a antelope or whatever, but I can see that something hot is out there, and again, that dog is visible as well. So pretty big difference as far as that goes between the digital night vision and the thermal. thought it might be worthwhile to show you some up-close pictures. So this dog's right close to me right here, and you can see a lot of good detail out of the thermal up close. And then the camera lady is probably 10 to 20 yards away, and I can definitely tell that's a human being out there. Would you go ahead and uh, move your arms around again? I do a jumping jack. <laughs> so pretty clear from about, I'd say that's probably 20 yards away. Okay, and here is the night vision. Again, that dog's about the same distance away. Now he's moving away from me. But we get a much clearer picture with this night vision, obviously. So if we can get the uh, illuminator where we need it to be, we can see a lot better, a lot more detail with the night vision. Now, one drawback about this particular kind of night vision is that it is going to throw out this giant beam of invisible light, which is not invisible if somebody else also has night vision. This would show up just like a giant flashlight in my hands if somebody else was looking at me with night vision. So, invisible to the human eye, but not invisible to any kind of digital or traditional type of night vision. I'd say that dog's going out 30, maybe 40 yards away now. Still get a pretty good view and detail of this little puppy at that range. So that's kind of a quick rundown of what you can expect in the budget range for these two different kinds of optics. Thermal can run you a lot of money if you're gonna buy the good stuff, but even at this cheap price range, I can use this to get a pretty good level of detection up close and be able to identify things. But again, way out there, I could tell that something hot was out there, but I had no idea what it was. Whereas with the digital night vision, 
we can see what's going on and we can see what's going on pretty far out and get a good level of detail but once that illuminator kind of runs out of steam then you're going to be in trouble because you can't really see in the night without the illuminator if you're interested in either one of these i'm going to leave the specs down in the description so you can check it out this is the armasite thermal by covert optics and then we got the apexel um, digital camera from uh, apexel i guess <laughs> anyways i'll throw it down in the description and uh hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time